Okay. I wanted to live stream this, but I can't. So, I will have to make do with this. So, oh god. So, I have to uh, make a video. And then, and then once I reach a thousand subscribers, then I can live stream. But, on a PlayStation 5, mind you, I legitimately could just live stream when I had literally zero subscribers. It is the most dumbest thing ever. So, right now, I'm making this gearbox work without it jamming, and it seems to have done that. See, it doesn't shift anymore because I kind of took out the shifter. It was only a two-speed, so it wasn't that impressive. But, either way, either way, I have made it work. <sighs> okay. There we go. Wait, nope. I just need one more part in here, which shouldn't be too hard to put in. Any part would work just fine. It's just I'm running low on uh on those one by one um thingies. I forgot what they're called. Oh great, now the entire thing's broken. Okay. Um I've always wanted to do this, but I couldn't really do it in the in the on the PS5 webcam because Quality is just mmm not good. Okay. okay, that seems to be working for now. Mind that part it just happens because there's some torque in it. Where do I put those? There they are. I'm gonna put this on. Yeah, sorry for these pieces, it just helps for, um, for stability. <clears throat> In fact, that part goes right here. And there. That hole was for the shifter, which would go into here, which would move, like, here, and then here. It even made the sounds, it was pretty cool. Now, <clears throat> here's the fun part. I'm going to be hooking it up to this. It's just a regular piston, you know, nothing too special. But my goal here is to actually make it fly off because I have always wanted that to happen with the Lego thing. A Lego engine, my bad. Okay. <clears throat> now, all I have to do is we just have to build a frame for it. More specifically, we have to... Find a special part, which is somewhere, and I know it's. Oh yeah, put it in here because originally I wanted to put it in that one, then have it here. But I'll do that one later. Let's just. Uh... Take this part out, and there. So we have this part right here. So we'll oh. Now we have this. Sorry for the mess, by the way. We can hook this part onto here. Now, the big part, this engine, onto here. Now, that should work. Yep, it does. Okay. Now, next, we just need to build a frame so it touches the bottom. Okay. All we do is we just need to estimate it. So, let's... Get ah, my knees. Let's... Let's get looking. Really, any brick would work for this. Realizing how much of a hassle this is now that I'm actually building it. There we go. Here's the piece. 
so I don't need all um all on both sides to be a bunch of one by eights. After all, I am running out of parts, you know, because of this thing. It's a fully automatic P90. Uh, this thing is off right now. In fact, I'll put it on. Give me a minute. Well, it's not fully automatic, but it's semi-automatic, but it could be fully automatic if you just remove a simple part from it. It is a hassle to remove that part, though. And I did reinforce this thing multiple times, but it still sort of breaks. And here we go. So it's, it's one of those simple, you know, mechanisms. Actually fits pretty well. Okay. Now let's continue building. It looks like just another set of bricks should put it fine. My favorite way to test this is to grab just a giant plate and then put it on one end and then see if it'll connect. Which it will. Okay. So we have it nice and even. Now, what we have to do is we just have to connect it to this part, this part, this part, and now we can use this big plate to Help it, you know, stay on the ground and not go flippy floppy. <clears throat> now, is this in good sight? I'm gonna have to go under my bed to see if you guys get a good view of it. Or future me has a good view of, of, of me when I used to be smart. Okay. Oh no, you do not. Oh god. I don't even know how much of this was in focus now, and I'm slightly worried about that. <laughs> okay, so let's set this up in my engine here. Oh god. Oh boy, now this is bad. Okay. Nope, just a little bit of torque. This would work so much better if I could just, like... Oh my gosh. If I could just, like, two-hand this. Okay. Let's figure out what's wrong. You know what? I'm just gonna take the top off. See if that helps with anything. Okay, well, that's a big reason why something's not working. So all the gears are out of darn balance. But yeah, that too, because that one's not connected in the slightest way. Gosh, this is such a hassle. <laughs> but in the end, it was all worth it. See, I have to, like, hmm. everything is very whack here. I would do bigger with space, but I don't want to spend an hour just building a gear box and testing the torque and everything. Make it something simple, so I just took the shifter out, and I'm hoping that this works. So, without further ado, okay. You know what? <laughs> to make sure that I can't push this block any further in. I'm just going to put that one, that one here. Now, there we go. Confirmed, it works. Oh. 
let's test it. God, this is very hard to spin to where you can actually see the motor, so I'm just trying different positions right now. Well, that's why, because it disconnected. God, okay, you know what? This thing, because it just turns, because it's just unleveled. Try it this way. Okay, something's jammed here. I'm telling you it ain't twerk. You know what? <laughs> okay. Let's change it. Gearbox just a lane off. Okay. Let's see if I've given this enough charge. God, hopefully I have. Oh, I took this out of a toy boat that was barely working. And, um, yeah, that's how I got this. Or something. I can't use this one. I'll be back when I get my motor back.